Hello everyone, I'm Argamowitch, and I have a buttload of Vroid tutorials on my channel that are for Vroid Beta, but that doesn't mean you can't use them for the new Vroid version 1. <clears throat> so I'm here to explain how to navigate version 1 so my uh, tutorials are still relevant to you. Um, now if you want, you can always still download the beta version off of vroid.com, but for now we're just going to go uh, into here. And we have my current model that you see here. Uh, so most of my tutorials are broken down into working with textures, working with clothes, and working with the hair. So I'm going to show you how you kind of do that. Now for working with textures, it's pretty much the same, um, but if you want to uh, uh, kind of like um, have your own or whatever, customized ones, you're going to have to hit the custom button. Um, and then you can click on any of these eyes, there might be a blank one, or you can hit the plus and it'll give you a new one. And then you just hit edit texture over in the right hand corner. And now you can edit the texture of whatever. Um, and that will work for all of these. And you can even select between them as you go through once you're in the texture area. So you don't have to keep jumping back and forth. But whenever you're done with it, like let's say I decide I'm going to like do -do 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 -do, and I'm done, you just hit the X button over here and it's going to want to save it as something new. And you can just do uh, save as a new item, override the old item uh, that you clicked on to edit, or you can just close it without saving, which is what I'm going to do because I don't really need this um, as a saved piece because it's just kind of like blah, 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 you know? Um, and that's pretty much how you do textures. You do the same thing for the body. You, you know, you can hit the edit texture over here and then you would edit it. Um, next, we're going to look at outfits real quick. Now you can't really do it with whole sets, but you can do it with um, any of the others. You just go click custom and then you create a custom, uh, whichever preset you want to put under, whether top dresses or whatever. I think I have this one under dresses. Yeah, so let's take a look at this, this one. And we'll just edit the texture. And then it'll come up. The one thing that you will know about this, um, I have this on the little text, I don't worry about that. Um, so you can edit your your textures like you did before with outfits and stuff. But this has a skin mask. Um, and if you click on it, it's gonna take you over to the skin and it's gonna be all white. Now, everything that's white is going to appear there. Anything that's black on here is going to kind of erase it. And that's to avoid clipping. You usually get clipping in the chest area or maybe in the thighs and you can just kind of like erase whatever. Um, and as long as it's black, it's erased. If it's white, then it's going to appear there. Um, so that's kind of neat. You, you, you'd probably have to worry about that on something like the toes and the chest. Those tend to clip the most. Sometimes the arms a little bit too. Um, and then when you're done with that, you know, you're going to hit the X and it's going to ask you to override it. And I'm like, again, I'm going to do it without saving, but you can just save as a new one or save it as the old one. Um, and now hair. Hair is very similar. You'd go over to custom, you'd hit plus. We have these like a couple little custom things. I don't, I've saved them by accident. Uh, you can right click and delete them. All right, so this is gonna be our new one. And then we come over here onto the right hand side and goes edit hairstyle. And now we have all of the things that we had in the other one. You know, you have your procedural hair. Um, and you just click on it and you can like adjust it with the the stoofs that you have over here. Uh, the other's free hands. So you can kind of like, oops, let's uh, so you can kind of draw your stuff on there. Meow, 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 meow. Um, and I did the same with the tail and I think I have it here. Yeah, so the tail's here. And the one thing that this does have is it has these little selectors so you can kind of move where the base is. So like you can start it up top and then move it down. And I guess you can even kind of rotate it a little bit too if you really need to, which is neat. It will really help with some hairstyles in the future. And then if you make something too big or too small, you can always resize it um, in 
one of the axes. So like it's that's pretty useful. So that's like a neat feature that I like that they added. Um, and then you click when you're done and it's gonna ask you if you wanna say, uh, save it or how do you wanna save it and I'm gonna just close without saving um, because I don't really need to say <laughs> I don't need this hairstyle after today. <laughs> Um, and then if you want to edit the bones, you have to get out of that particular menu and come over here and do edit hair bounce. Uh, sorry, I didn't think about saving. Yeah, and you can kind of see like how you would edit. You create your bone group and then you have to select the bone group and then you can kind of like adjust your fixed point. I don't know why it's over here. I don't know what hair it's attached to, but whatever, you get the point. Exit. It wants to know if you want to override it again. Again, I'm closing without saving because I don't really care. Um, and that's, for the most part, the things you'll need to know if you want to follow my tutorials, my other tutorials. Uh, the one other thing you might need to know is, uh, in the look, they have the bones here for the body jiggles and the outfit jiggles. And then when you actually go to export as VRM, over here is where you can reduce the mesh meshes, delete transparent meshes, and then combine the hair mesh. This one is what's used in order to attach tails and stuff. Most people forget to unselect that, but you need to make sure that that's not there so you can come, um, reattach the tail to the butt. Because even if you move it to the butt, it's not actually attached to the butt, it's still attached to the head. Just keep that in mind um, for when you export. And then everything else is pretty much the same. Just located in weird spots um yeah so as beautiful <laughs> as this is i'm not saving it um uh that's pretty much how you would use my tutorials with the uh new b-roid version one it's also how you can kind of edit and customize things i hope this video has helped you out i know i said i wasn't going to do b-roid tutorials but people are telling others that my tutorials are useless and i think those people can kind of go fuck themselves <laughs> <laughs> and this is me showing you how you can actually use my tutorial still and how, um, although it is more convoluted to get to some of these things, uh, ultimately you can still do pretty much the same stuff that you could before. That being said, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I have one more v tutorial coming out because it's one of the most asked questions I am getting besides the HANA tool, which hasn't updated just yet as of November 16th, but they are working on it. Um, so the blend shape video is a little out of date right now until the updated version comes out. But anyways, thank you so much. I love you guys. Uh, and I will see you, um, in my next video. Okay, bye!